Hey guys, Bento Summer Extreme here. Once again, the, your number one source for anime, J Rock, video games, and Blizzard news. As you can see, I'm now back from our friend Brian here. He's giving Yay. me updates. Thank God I'm here. Woohoo! Um, you know, I was really busy with school, but now I'm back to bring you guys the latest news of Bento Summer Extreme. Well, without further ado, we're going to bring you guys the main topic for this week, really big. Well, all you guys know is the classic board games like Monopoly and Risk, you know, Family Game Night. Well, uh, good news, Blizzard and USopoly have come together to release a new fresh take to maybe renew this new generation of kids that, you know, they play on computers, have fun family game night, um, to uh, on two main games, Risk and not Monopoly. What is this, you ask? Well, check this out, guys. World of Warcraft Monopoly and StarCraft Risk. Wow. Isn't that awesome? That would be bomb. Yes, it gives you a new sense on physically battling over the world of Azeroth or World of Warcraft or taking over the Kuprulu sector, Kuprulu sector for StarCraft. It's awesome. Um, this game will be debuted at the 109th Annual Toy Fair this Sunday in New York, which is coming tomorrow. So if you guys are in the area, go check it out. Pretty awesome. Well, guys, that's it for the main update. I'm going to move on to my friend Brian here. He's going to give you some new updates on anime, some very interesting news, news this week. Well, the exciting news about anime this week is that the snow and ice sculpture contest is going on in Japan, actually, from February 6th to February 12th. It's up to tomorrow. If you're in, J in the area in Japan, guys, check it out. This is awesome. Um, this is their 63rd annual contest that's going on. And the cool thing about it is that so many anime characters were been sculptured out. Um, Hazumiko is actually one of the biggest ones. Pokemon, One Piece, um, Nintendo Mario, like mm -hmm. Totoro. Like I could name. T t there's about two hundred and you can spend, spend all day listing. Yeah, the there's about two hundred and twenty eight characters actually. But two other characters that I want to mention is the non anime characters are SpongeBob SquarePants and Mickey Mouse from Disney. Yeah, so we see some American culture. In there yeah, too. so that's cool. Um, so guys, if you want to check it out, you guys still have today and tomorrow to check it out. Mm -hmm. Pretty awesome. Yeah. And another cool thing about going on is that I talked about an actual expo that's going to go on at the worst time of ever. You know, where other another con was going on. It was called the Anime Contest Expo going on. However, they actually sold tickets in two days and they got... 18,508 people to sign up already. Wow. That's a lot of people. That is a lot of people. And I remember, I don't remember what convention that was going on before that. And this is where um, Japan's um, disasters memorial thing was going to go on at this around the same time. It's like a three weeks apart or something. However, that's cool. So I'm hoping they get more people to go, actually. So it might look... Really yeah, I mean, that's a lot of people. That's like, yeah. you know, like one third of yeah. the usual attendance. Yes. My last news is the best news for us, actually. Um, Project Anime, um, what is Project Anime? Project Anime is a new convention that's going to happen two days before Anime Expo. However, this is not open, well, it is open to the public, but they recommend people who are vendors, industry guests, or panel, like people who do panels, people who are in the industry actually for anime. They're, um, what is it, SPJ and uh, Wasabi Anime got together to be a co-founder to actually teach how to people how to run anime conventions actually. You know, how to get, you know, better ticketing system, how to run better, you know, programs, you know, this will improve, you know, how the anime, you know, convention is going to work out. Because what they, they coded that, you know, the American anime convention is kind of getting really bad, actually. Some of it's turning like really cheesy. They actually want everybody to improve, you know, and see if they could do a better job. And they're going to talk about uh, the 10 best examples that are going on in the United States. And if you do, um, if you only do the two days, it's only $45. However, if you pay $350, you could get an actual Animax Expo badge with it. So that sounds pretty awesome. Yeah. So if you, they're going to, I think they're going to have a tour every day saying, Oh, this is where the ticket boots are. You know, they're going to show how an actual, Good conventions running because I know Anime Expo is the biggest convention in the United States, and it's they've been very smooth about how they run They're their very show. Very successful. Yeah, very successful. And if you're a bigger businessman, this is one thing I recommend. There's it's um I think the cost was one thousand and seven hundred and fifty. They're including an airline ticket, five days stay at you know, uh, JW Marriott. This is actually at the new Marriott that they just created with Ritz Carson actually. That big building you see in LA Live actually. You get to they're come they're doing their convention there so that mm -hmm. sounds crazy already it is yeah and you get to stay there for five days if you pay this big fee so I mean it looks like a good deal to me if you're yeah. a businessman yeah businessman and if you want to learn how to run an 
actually a big convention, especially like any type of like, you know, like, you know, Comic Con or like something hobby related, this will be your best mm-hmm. choice of getting Pretty it. Pretty cool. So yeah, that's it for anime news this week. What's okay. going on with J-Rock? Well, guys, we're going to talk about some J-Rock, some good news and bad news. The power metal band during Grey has to cancel their tour for the United States. Oh no. I know. It really sucks. Um, but it's due to the frontman vocalist Kyo's throat. His doctor says something wrong with his vocal cords. They won't really say exactly what. What? But as you guys know, they released their album last year that we talked about, Dumb Spiro Spiro. It was uh, used to raise funds for the Japanese earthquake disaster from last year. And their tour was supposed to be scheduled between March and April of this of this year. But unfortunately, they canceled it. They released a public statement and public apology, which I'll read to you out loud on live air. To our fans as well as to the other bands and staff involved in our tour, we extend our sincere apologies. We ask for your understanding that this was an extremely difficult decision to make. Thank you for all your continued support, which is deeply appreciated. So all our thoughts of prayers go into Kyo and their band, and hopefully they'll come back. Hopefully, yeah, they'll come back soon. Yeah, and bring back J-Rock to the United States. Well, in other news, some good news on a better shining light, El Arkansas, as Brian uh, updated you last week about J-Rock, um, they released their new album, Butterfly, and as of February 8th, um, you can you now go on iTunes and download the music. So remember, support the real deal. 99 cents a song. You don't have to buy the CD and get some songs you don't want. Just get the songs that you want. I think in, when you buy the album, you get it for really cheap. Price. Yeah, it's pretty cheap, too. Like, uh, maybe 10 bucks. 10 bucks, or even, or even $9, I think. Because mm-hmm. you're not actually getting a physical CD or anything like that. So mm-hmm. iTunes tries to keep it as low as possible. You do. It's pretty awesome. Yeah. And in other news, this is kind of a J Rock ish, American Rock ish, and anime ish. <laughs> Every like day. <laughs> well, um, Brian has a really interesting update about Hello Kitty. So, yeah, um, I know there's a lot of fans of Hello Kitty out there, even guys, and I know ladies are the biggest fan yes. of Yes. I know, even um, Steven's oh, girlfriend. Nicole, yeah. Yeah. Well, there's this crazy thing going about, you know, um, uh, what is it? Senrio's been doing this whole, you know, crossbreed or hybrid about, you know, putting. Anime characters or, you know, like, rock characters. Like, mm, like Yoshi Kitty? Yeah, Yoshi, very successful. Yeah, very, yeah. This is actually, um, this is the result of Yoshi Kitty that it was so successful that they're bringing the classic American rock band Kiss. Kiss. Yeah. It's a Kiss hybrid with Hello Kitty. Kitty. So, so it's going to be a little, a little cutesy little version of Kiss, literally. So we can imagine what it's going to look like. Yeah, it's, so. I mean, they're making keychains. They're making so many other, you know, merchandise with it. Mm-hmm. So I don't know the exact release date to it, but I'll get you guys the date yeah. after. We will. Yeah. For J-Rock News this week, we move on to my friend Brian here. He's going to talk about some new updates in the video game industry. So what's going on in the video game industry? Well, three big games are always going on. Naruto, Resident Evil, and Tekken vs. Street Fighter. Mm-hmm. There's so Street much, up, so many updates that's going up the last three, four weeks of it. I'm getting tired of it, actually. Mm-hmm. I think I talked about it three or four times already. Yeah, you did. So this week, I'm going to bring you the freshest news about game, video game news this week. It's King of Fighter announcing their number 13 arcade version is actually coming out. Um, earlier in the year, they actually came out with their Xbox and PlayStation 3 version. However, most of the time, console version of it doesn't do so well. However, arcade version, that's the best, actually, because mm-hmm. all the characters are there, all the, you know, like, different, you know, backgrounds and you, everything. You don't have to unlock the secret character yeah. or anything, right? Yeah. That's why. So, check it out. Um, they're actually doing a test run in today and tomorrow in Japan. That's the sad news, always, mm-hmm. that we don't ever get to do it in the United States first. And funny thing is, we, we do more arcade games than any other countries, probably. So, guys, check it out if you're in the Jap- Japan area. Awesome. And let's see what's going on in Blizzard news. This guy is some pretty interesting news in Blizzard this week. I mean, as you guys know from the Facebook updates and Blizzard, Season 5 is now locked. <sighs> so that really sucks for the people stuck in bronze. Yes, we are stuck oh, in bronze. Yeah, we are stuck in bronze 2v2. You know, Brian and I, are we're not the best StarCraft 2 players, but we are the top of the... We're like number one in bronze right now. Yeah, we've been so, doing good. This you know, I, I'm not ashamed to extend that because, you know, I love StarCraft. I try to get better, and if you guys have some pointers, leave a comment. You know, I don't mind improving. I don't mind the criticism. Constructive criticism, that is. <laughs> Anyways, um, Season 6 is starting next week. Um, remember that your wins for this last season will contribute to next season, and we compete for that top spot. So that's that's new, fresh start for anyone that wants to start with first StarCraft 2. Anyways, 
Um, I, I've been searching the forums on Reddit and uh, Blizzard. Um, a lot of people are asking, especially like the lower division leagues, how do you earn a league promotion? Even my friend Brian has been asking me that. How do you, how do you earn a league promotion? Well, um, playing a couple 2v2 and 3v3 games, I noticed that I was promoted to Diamond for 3v3, just playing like three, gun, three or four games. Um, Blizzard came out with an article. You can do it the, the easy way, which is win most of your games. Uh, when you start the game, there's a, a bar on top. It says favored, matched, or you know which team is favored. If you beat a team that's more powerful than you, has more experience, your chances of getting promoted is very likely. Or you could do the hard way, which is um, if you're bronze, get 1,200 points. And um, <laughs> 1200 you're almost guaranteed with a small majority staying behind to be promoted. So I noticed that a lot of people are doing that, actually. Yeah. So it really sucks, but if you want to do it, do it, guys. I mean, it takes a lot of work, but it's, you're almost guaranteed. You just win a lot of games. Well, guys, uh, thank you for tuning in this week for Bento Summer Extreme. Um, remember to tune in to Joseph because he will be doing his first ever update on J-pop. I'm sorry, not J-pop, K-pop. Um, pretty awesome. As my friend, this is a big, big leap forward for my friend Brian here. He's Korean, so he's pretty cool about that. Um, yeah, we're. I mean, well, we, I don't remember what I talked about last week. We're opening our horizon. Yes, for, to the industry. So, yeah. you know, I know the Korean sound is very popular. I mean, I, I remember on the Tyra, the Tyra Bank show. They had the Wonder Girls on American television. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Pretty awesome. Yeah, Wonder Girls are one of the most popular groups, actually, right so, now. So, yeah, I don't know much about J-Rock, I mean, um, J-Pop, but um, no, I'm sorry, not J-Pop. I'm, I'm sorry about the J industry, man. It's um, all about the K-Pop. K-pop but, um, <laughs> I don't know much about K-Pop, but I know it's really big. I know Rain is really, really famous. He's like the, what, the sex object in Korea. All the girls <laughs> what I heard. Anyways, um, that's pretty awesome. So check him out. Be sure to check his update for this week. Definitely. And uh, thank you for tuning in this week. Make sure to tune on to our next video for next week, guys. Um, thank you for um, for everything. So please support us. Um, you're not Bento Summer Extreme, your number one source for anime, J-Rock, video game, and Blizzard news. And until then, remember right. to so bend to your, your samurai, samurai to the extreme! extreme!